morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepyhead. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. You know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, December 4th. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. We got some red on the board, my friends. S&P down 37, NASDAQ down 167. Russell, barely red, down four, Dow down 200, gold and silver, both sliding lower, notes and bonds lower, 10-year yield up 1%, oil down almost 1%, natty gas down 5%, grains a little bit mixed, euro and the pound lower, and Bitcoin up over 7.5%, VIX hovering around 13.5%, up almost 7% pre-market. So for today, I'm going to be doing my Monday AM ratio. Uh, JSPs are off the board. Too much of a drop. Also got a 3.5 and a 3.6 DTE double calendar that I'll be taking off. Uh, I will be um, I will be sorry I was a little distracted. Uh, I've got uh, my my re-entries that I'll be doing, but I've got those turned off right now because uh, I'm entering the AM ratio right off the bat. Don't want to get too overloaded right out of the gate. Uh, but I will most likely turn those on a little bit later. Also got the 945 Monday Wednesday ratio I see that'll be going on. So really just at the open, just the AM ratio. Gap down, market's pumped. Sounds like a great day for an AM ratio. Minute and a half till the open. What would be the concern? Haven't seen a red bar like this since well, November 9th, almost a month ago. And before that, October. Now the day's not over. We could still end green, but as of right now, got a nice red bar going. That is not a filter in my back test, Kelvin, so I will trade. I don't have the first big red bar in a while filter on today. Twenty seconds till the bell.
It'll start trying to enter about a minute after the market is open here. It looks like it's going to be the 7545s right now. So about 30 wide. SPX gap down was minus 0.66. So the 7550s. And here comes the order on the 7550s. Seventy five fifties filled at eighteen ninety five. Seventy five fifties. Here we go. Check out a couple of other positions here. Actually, I got to get out of my calendars. <clears throat> so my 3.6 and my 3.5 are both going to lose. Too big of a move for those. Build on my three five. And fill them my three six. All right, so posted both of those in the calendar channel. Wow, look at that decay come in, boys and girls. That was quick. Trade's already up 17 hundy. On that little bounce. Got our D8 time fly still uh, still in the red, but in good shape. It likes the down move. The D22, a little bit in the red as well. Also got a 5.7, my at the money 5.7. Little out of range. My six seven is profitable.
All right, SPX bounced a little bit off the bottom. Pretty much right where we opened up. Gold had a big overnight move and came back down, hit a high of 2152.3, back down to 2065. Our uh, short strangling, strangling gold is still a little bit red. And the AM ratio centered. I am going to do, I also am going to do a, uh, a three, four DTE double calendar here in about 10 minutes. Um, just keep in mind, if you have the six, seven, that's now the same expiration cycle, uh, but it should be different strikes. we got a decent move here. So I'm okay. Adding, adding this in to kind of help diversify the price level a little bit. Expected move was about 19 for the day. So we opened at 64. It's about 83 and change to the upside. Forty-five. Well, my Chiefs got taken down by the Packers last night with some horrid officiating. I'm not one to blame the officials, but that was pretty bad on both sides. If anyone caught that into that game. All right, S&P down 26. The Russell is green. Russell's up a half percent. Nope, I mentioned earlier I'm not gonna enter that quite yet. I'm gonna I'll turn it on a little bit later. I've got this one, I've got the 945, so I don't want to get too overloaded. Man, what a reversal in gold. Silver down two percent. Big drop in Natty. Bitcoin over 42,000. Haven't seen these highs since April of 2022. Uh, the Great Wolf Lodge was great. Thanks for asking, Bumblebee. I mean, it was great for them. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in the water park. Blew a bunch of money in the arcade. 
they did uh someone that's kind of a young guy working at the arcade and uh they were uh he was i don't know i I wasn't there but the kids basically were saying they hit a jackpot on a on a deal and they'd go tell the guy and he'd kind of come over and laugh he knew they didn't but he loaded up their cards with like uh, one of the kids got like 2600 tickets or something like that so they had all kinds of prizes from the arcade so they were all pumped about that And we had a birthday lunch yesterday at the Cheesecake Factory, which is always delicious. SPX still just kind of chopping near the open. Kind of sucked some premium out on that bounce and then pumped it back in. Economic reports for the week tomorrow, 30 minutes after the market opens, we've got ISM services, PMI, and jolts. Wednesday, pre-market, ADP, non-farm employment. Thursday, pre-market, unemployment claims. And Friday, pre-market, some more unemployment data. And then 30 minutes after the market opens, consumer sentiment. All right, so the strikes that I have on my 6-7 are the Let's see, 25 Delta calls. Trying to get filled on my three four DTE. If you're new, these are calendar trades, not zero DTE related. You know, I just posted my three, four DTE in the calendar channel.
Yeah, it felt good to get a nice power hour win on Friday. By the way, for you trade steward users or potential users, uh, had a conversation with Jordan from trade steward trying to get a, a deal for navigation trading members. It's it's going to happen at some point, but most likely not very soon. He's 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 pretty swamped on just kind of getting some trailing stop and you know feature request implemented as well as uh, getting some of these other brokers on board. Um, so he wants to get all that in place before he really focuses on growth. So um, just FYI. That's all on Schwab. It depends on how quickly Schwab will get their API available. They haven't given him any kind of timeline. Well, it's only eight forty seven. So I've got an hour before my 945 trades fill. Ten forty-five Eastern, nine forty-five Central. Look at the little Russell run. Pushing up 0.8%. I assume that means regional banks are rocking. KRE is up almost 1%. Retail is up 1.5%. Gold semiconductors are weak. Tech weak. Oil slightly red. Real estate flat. Beyond meat up 18.5%. Someone's liking the fake meat today. Of course, all the crypto-related stocks are up. Riot up 13%. Coinbase up 8.5%. Meta down 3%. Meta's been struggling a little bit the last couple of weeks. NVIDIA down 3%. It's been struggling ever since earnings as well. Hit a high of 505, currently at 454. Amazon, Google, both down 2%. Tesla down about a half percent. AM ratio is up about 12.5% so far.
Quick calendar in SPX. That's over 10%. Let's see, where did I get in on that? Got in at a buck ninety. Things going for about two twenty. So you could take your uh, take the single put SPX calendar off. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Is there anyone on here who's new who has any questions? I'm going to keep it short this morning and sign off here in a couple minutes. But keep in mind for these live streams, we got a lot of time to answer questions, fill in any gaps for any zero DTE or anything not zero DTE related is fine as well. I haven't seen that um, terms and conditions page getting stuck for me on option Omega Elliot. All back tests running smooth and fine for me. All right, my friends. We'll be back for Power Hour Live. Uh, check the live stream schedule. Put it out for December. Um, so Power Hour all week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Chad will be streaming live in the morning this week. And then I'll be streaming live in the morning on Friday. Uh, White Tiger, what I would do is I would utilize the back test for SPX, but I would practice with SPY. Um, I think somebody else I saw mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if you saw it, but you know, part of the difference is SPX has twice as many strikes as SPY. And then, of course, the, the amount of transaction cost to SPY versus SPX because of the size, uh, the relation of the expenses versus the profits are fairly lopsided in SPY versus SPX. So yeah, the, the back tests are going to look pretty poor, um, but SPY is a great kind of learning, learning vehicle, but I would, I would base it off the SPX test and, and, and the practice is really just to get to understand and feel the flow of the different strategies and, and, you know, see how they work, understand some of the nuances, get real fills instead of doing paper trading um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it as, you know, necessarily trying to, trying to con consistently make any kind of decent income off SPY with, with zero DTE. Yep. All right, all take care. Have a good day. We'll see you in power hour. Cheers.